stupid, useless button. Norman's guards have all cleared out. If he's hiding something up here, I'm gonna find it. Oh, yes. Fire doors engaged. Automated self diagnostic commencing. Please remain calm. So, um, this place looks pretty, pretty neat. I don't know. I would live here. I mean, kind of, I guess. It's a little excessive, but, you know, it's got class. It's very modern. And I like it. Not sure about family the portraits. Fabulous Osborne boys. Hmm. Very suspicious. Very, very odd indeed. Alright, so we've got a cello and a lot of things to be looking at. For example. What is this thing? Hmm. So we immediately put it on. <laughs> what is this? <gasps> Ooh. Whoa. This mask is incredible. Is it showing a door hidden in that wall? I wonder where it leads. Yeah. Very suspicious. <laughs> cool. Glad we just put our DNA all over that. <laughs> hmm. Schematics for a prototype combat mask. Looks like it can reveal structural weaknesses. Yeah. Peacekeeping helmet, you say. What is this, Cracktown 3? I guess. I don't, I don't know. Hmm. Well, nothing else important here. Let's keep on looking. Lots of things to be finding here. And for a good reason. Hmm. Blueprint for the apartment. Tons of empty space right behind the wall with a family portrait. Who leaves space unused in a Manhattan apartment? Apparently a dude who lives at the penthouse suite at the top of one of the crazier buildings in town. Plus it's only the first floor plan, so I don't know. I guess because he's the mayor, it's okay. <laughs> hmm. He's got some wine out here. His magazines. Huh. MJ, Sable presence downstairs just ballooned. I think Norman's being moved. Worried they might spot me. I might have had something to do with that. Keep your distance. I should be okay for now. Maybe. I like how there's just bar carts lying around. And then it looked like there was broken glass, but I think this is just the reflection of the marble or something. I don't know. Can't really tell. Nice little piano over here. And there's a view. Oh, man. Imag Whoa, okay. I guess that can be a thing. Just looking out to this, just every day would be pretty Whoa. cool. It's good to be in Osborne. Yeah. Look at that view. Wow, I didn't even know she had uh, dialogue for that. Just need to stand there and... Enjoy the view. Oh, here we go. What do we have? A receipt? If I can look at it. Hmm. Work order for keypad lock. Looks like he used Harry's last day as the code. That must be the day Harry left for Europe. Ooh. I wonder what day that was. You know, being as good of a friend to Harry that MJ is, I'm, I'm sure she probably doesn't remember. <laughs> oh. Yeah, there's just a lot of interesting little nooks and crannies to explore here. I like it. Scientific journals debating the Spider-Man problem. <laughs> so weird there's a whole cottage industry focused on explaining Pete's powers. Weirder still that Norman is such an active part of it. Yeah, very unusual. But what is even more unusual, I think, is the fact that they're drinking out of these little clear, like, pill-popping cups. I don't know. I thought that might have been a hard liquor, but... You know, for some reason, Norman doesn't exactly strike me as the type of person to be down in bottles of tequila on his free time. You know, he seems more like a scotch and brandy type of dude. And I mean that in probably the worst possible way. <laughs> Doors are locked till the system check finishes. Oh yeah, I guess that's a thing. So yeah, we can't explore the rest of the penthouse apparently, so let's go back to what the game is screaming at us to go look at. Probably you two. Sorry. And uh, let's take a look. Norman bids his son farewell. Hmm. Huh. This must be from when Harry left for Europe last year. Why was Norman so dramatic about a trip to Europe? Also, why is this the creepiest looking picture of all time? And why does Harry look like Dave Franco? I don't know, man. Oh. Secret keypad behind the family portrait. Ooh Norman must like spy movies. 
yeah, that definitely wasn't a very conspicuous spot for it. But unfortunately, since our memory is not so good and we don't remember when Harry left for Europe, quote unquote, um, can't do anything. Damn. Looks like we're at an impasse. Well, hello, convenience. Norma could be back any minute. Need to find that keypad code. Yep. Harry's last day. I know he left last summer, but was it July or August? Harry kept a journal. Maybe he recorded the date there. Yeah, let's go and uh, snoop into our best friend's room, just so, you know, we can figure out a date so that we can sneak into his dad's secret room and try to find something to help out with the crisis that's happening out there. What is this? Forgot about this. The Osbournes have a coat of arms and a motto. Pax in Bellow, peace in war. <sighs> Gotta remember that if I ever write a book about all of this. Yeah, you really should. Also a family emblem? All right. Uh, whatever works for them, I guess. Harry also said his mom used to cook all the time. I'd be surprised if Norman has ever even touched the stove. Yeah, I would not be surprised if he did not. Also, the Chateau Le Chateau. <laughs> what a great brand of wine there. Uh, and just wine glasses everywhere, but none in the sink. This actually looks identical to the one that we have in our room, or in our apartment. <laughs> our one room apartment. Um, yeah, this is actually a really, really cool view just to have out here. Like, probably, arguably better than the one than when you enter the penthouse. Good God. All right. This room smells like rich people. Wonder if all this wine is from Norman's Vineyard in Burgundy. Ooh, fancy. Yeah, probably nothing of interest in here. Let's move on, shall we? That was actually Harry's room. Nothing of interest there. <laughs> all right. Norman locked up Harry's room. Wants it untouched for when Harry returns from Europe. But where did he put the key? Yeah, hmm. How do we know that Harry's room is locked right now, by the way, MJ? Did we skip a sequence on accident? Let's go and find it. See if we can figure that out first. Ooh, hi. City's in a state of emergency, but Norman still manages to get his laundry and cleaning done for him. <laughs> what a hero. With the four stream cleans and disinfects the greatest laundry detergent on planet Earth. Nothing over here. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, there's just a ton, ton hey, here. On my way to Dr. Michaels for one last shot before the um the big trip. Uh, hey, if you're gonna meet me there, could you grab my journal from my room? I just wanted to record some thoughts on the big Bon Voyage day. <laughs> uh, anyway, listen, I know I don't say this enough, but thank you, Dad, you know, for doing this. I love you. Wow. Haven't heard Harry's voice in so long. He sounds so tired. Let's hope that journal is still here. Gotta check his room. Oh, there it is. It's just gonna go ahead and show us right away. There's like four or five rooms in between, so yeah, they just give you way too much so, to uh, to explore. Anyways, family portrait. I used to be so jealous of Harry's family. They were so happy. At least compared to me and my dad. But when Emily got sick, everything changed. Oh boy. Well, Harry's room, but it's locked. I wonder where Norman keeps the key. Yep, we have an entire penthouse to uh, explore and try to find it. Aren't you guys excited? We're almost there. God, Pete and I loved coming over here to watch movies when we were kids. A different world from Queens. <laughs> Funny how Harry always wanted the opposite. Nothing made him happier than watching cartoons on the little TV in May's kitchen. Oh. Also, this isn't creepy at all. Hmm. What's this? This is kind of cute. Norman keeps all the campaign buttons from his races. There's one for school board. And he's left room for more. Setting your sights higher, Norman? 
I don't know, it would be nice to be able to, you know, see them, but that glare is pretty egregious. Huh. Keeps his room really nice though. It's probably his maids. Or maybe his guards. They act as his maids. <laughs> Harry's mom Emily. We used to make fun of him for calling her the prettiest mom at Midtown, but he might have been right. Feels like there's something attached to the back of the frame. Ooh. <gasps> Gasp. Score. This must be the key for Harry's room. Score. <laughs> okay, so there's still some more that I kind of want to expand on as far as, you know, insight into the Osborne families go. So let's take a look at some of these other things. Emily's terminal diagnosis. Hmm. I know Harry's mom was sick, but I had no idea it was genetic. Did Harry ever get tested? Uh, you'd think that maybe once they found out it was genetic, they might have, but... I don't know, man. So we head back out here. This, I would be into. Just this, ah, uh, this balcony, this, you can't even call it a porch. I don't know, man. But we do have this tree. Harry's mom planted this when he was born. Looks like Norman has made a point of caring for it now that she's gone. Beautiful. Yeah, so they make a really big point of showing that Emily and Harry are very important to one Mr. Osborne, and uh, as such, he keeps the key to Harry's room, you know, behind that picture. And I think there was something else on this second balcony where the garden is. Uh, otherwise, I think we're nearly done here. Wait a minute. Okay. So, yeah, we have these telephones at work. I think it's kind of unusual that they're almost exactly the same. But look at this. Ugh, Norman would have a pool. New York is about subway rats and street pizza, not sunbathing and umbrella drinks. Two pools. Like, this one's probably a jacuzzi. He gets his bang on in that one and his orgy on in the other. It's just a little much. And just to be able to walk in there from this kitchen. Good God. I mean, look at this. It's just, it's shiny. It's laminate. How does he have time to take care of this? And then the jankiest rug. Why would you have this in here? It doesn't go with the room at all. <laughs> and I'm pretty sure it's the only rug in the entire house. Anyways, I'm not going to criticize your choice in interior decorating. Uh, let's go find out what happened to our friend by invading his privacy and um, so on. <laughs> what? This can't be for Harry, can it? Oh boy. Harry's journal. His last entry is marked July 18. That must be the code to that room. Ooh, so, yeah, the gist of the story is, yeah. Harry's sick, and it happens to be the same thing that took Emily. So, he left us a little note, and it sucks. But, um, we don't know what's happened to him. I am saying we should not rush off without a plan. We? You are staying here. The antiserum is ready, and I'm going to supervise production. You will be completely vulnerable without me. I seem to be completely vulnerable with you. I'm going alone. End of discussion. Keep Team 2 on standby. I'm getting some air. Here we go. Pete, Norman's cure is ready. He's headed to the lab it's at now. Can you follow? Not without alerting him. Somebody spiked Sable's coffee today. Her men are set on double secret probation alert. Okay, then stay ready. I've almost got the location. 